Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, welcome back once again. Today I am going to discuss the very important points, important facts about the immunoglobulins. In this topic, one question is very important. So make sure listen it carefully. So when we talk about the immunoglobulins, then immunoglobulins are the specific binding site for antigen means when any new antigen comes to our body then it binds to that immunoglobulins so immunoglobulins are the antibodies of our body next points here the important point is immunoglobulins are made up of by the proteins that named as its name is gamma globulin protein gamma globulin protein all the immunoglobulins are made by the gamma globulins these immunoglobulins have y shaped its structure is y shaped and all the immunoglobulins have two heavy chain and two light chain and immunoglobulins are subclassified or subdivided into the five categories and these five categories five subclass and these five subclass are the IgA IgE, IgD, IgG and lastly IgM. So these are the five subclass of the immunoglobulins and these all the immunoglobulins have their different function and different locations. So I will discuss one by one. So firstly we will take IgA. IgA are the immunoglobulins that protect the surface. IgA immunoglobulins mainly present in breast milk. Make sure this point is very much important. Number of time this question asked that which immunoglobulins are present in breast milk. So IgA immunoglobulins present in breast milk and this protect means immunoglobulin A, IgA protect, protect the surface, protect surface. Next one, IgD, IgD, immunoglobulin B, this is have very low function, it mainly helps about the IgM antibody. So IgD work in conjugation with the IgM. IgD mainly produced or secreted from the B cells. B cells. Next one IgE. IgE mainly important IgE have the main function IgE responsible for the hypersensitivity reaction or we called as allergic reaction IgE immunoglobulins have minimum serum concentration if we talk about the concentration of the all the immunoglobulins then IgE have the minimum serum concentration 
as well as minimum serum concentration and the half life of this is also low so lowest half life or minimum half life and half life is minimum serum concentration is minimum but it have maximum carbohydrate concentration maximum carbohydrate concentration so next immunoglobulin sour is IgG IgG is the immunoglobulins that basically have maximum serum concentration maximum serum concentration and the size maximum serum concentration and maximum half life maximum half life next point about the size in all the immunoglobulins IgG have a smallest in size a smallest size IgG immunoglobulins have the here when we have discussed about the carbohydrate concentration of the IgE that was the maximum now here in the IgG the carbohydrate concentration is minimum minimum carbohydrate concentration IgG immunoglobulins is that called as warm antibody make sure this is very important point warm antibody there is a number of time this question asks that which immunoglobulins can cross the placenta cross the placenta so here is the only one immunoglobulins that can cross the placenta and that is IgG cross placenta this is very important points IgG antibody is also responsible mainly for the secondary immunoresponse very important point IgG is responsible for the secondary immunoresponse now next your next antibody next immunoglobulin that is IgM Here, I will make the comparative word. IgG was the smallest size, but IgM is the largest size. IgG was the warm antibody. Here, IgM is the cold antibody. IgG was responsible for the secondary immune response while IgM is responsible for the primary immune response. So make sure these are the very important points about the immunoglobulins. Each word have a question in itself. So make sure river revision it, learn it and give your best. Thank you.